Wow. Woo, I forgot about the scent and I forgot about the mist. Holy, and by mist I mean hose, girl, it's a hose. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all having an amazing day and I really hope that you are excited to dive into some of my old favorite makeup and do a full face of what I already have, also known as a shop my stash video. Um, these are some of my favorites to film. If you've been here for a while, you know that. I used to call them my it's been a while video, pronounced it's been a while since I could put it on my face. And for those of you that have been here a while, you will attest I did used to sing it like that every single time I did one of these videos. So you're welcome. Also a blast from the past there, as well as this outfit. Like, I don't even know. I, for some reason, this has just been my go-to look. Every time I film, I'm like, I want something slightly off shoulder. I want a little strap showing. And can I just tell you real quick, and then I promise we'll like move on to the makeup. You guys know that I have fibro, right? I talk about this very openly. I've got a brain tumor, fibro. I have a ton of autoimmune stuff. I've got my body, my body's just the wonderland of garbage. And uh, as I go through and get ready, sometimes I will pick out outfits. And for this one, I had like a cute little blue bralette. It was just adorable. I put it on and you know what? My fibro was like, <laughs> you think you're wearing lace today? Nope. So um, I literally broke out into like all hives around like the booboo -boo region on my back everywhere. And my, my fibro was just like, absolutely not. That's not happening because I have super reactive fibro, I guess, when it comes to textures, which is why I talk about them all the time. And uh, yeah, so moral of my story. Well, I, I actually don't know what the moral of the story was, but where I was going with this, the outfit is cute. Like I love it, but it was cuter. I just want you to know it. It was cuter. And now I'm just, I'm settling for this. I love it. I love an all black moment with these cute little gold earrings. I'm living. It's fine. Paige, literally no one cared about that at all. No one. All right, so we're good. We're moved in and we're going to go ahead and start diving into some makeup that I used to love and create a full face. So I'm going to start off obviously with primer. And to do that, we are actually using a product that I repurchased a while ago because I used to be in love with this and ran out and I had to have another. And then I just got to testing products and I never used it. So we are going to be diving in with this guy. This is the Origins Original Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. Willow Herb, Willow Herb, you know what I'm trying to say. And this is the primer right here, and it's one of these where you push down and you actually you have to prime it up a little bit and you get like this weird kind of foamy situation. And this is one of the most bizarre primers to me. Like I still will never understand how this works so well, but it is the most cooling, oh my God, primer. And when you put it on, I just put on way too much because I got excited. Of course. For me, this actually did work really well back in the day for priming my skin and helping to not so much keep away the oils, but it kind of helped reduce the way that they appeared on my skin, if that made sense. Like they were still there, but this kind of just helped eliminate some of the shine and it soaks in really nicely, but it lightly smooths out my pores too. So now after that, typically I'd go in with foundation, but not today. Today I found another product that I haven't used in a while that I absolutely love, that everyone loves, talked about a ton, very hyped, and that is the Charlotte Tilbury. Hollywood Flaws Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. Woo! Y'all, that was like, I can't believe I just got that right. <laughs> okay? Wow. I'm so impressed with myself. That was like when Dumbledore puts his wand to his head and he like pulls out a memory. That was me just now. I'm like, Hollywood Flaws Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. I'm going to take some of this and I am just going to apply a little bit of it to my cheeks and anywhere that I would normally apply just a little bit of highlight. I'll kind of take and I massage it a little up and then I lightly pull the leftover down. That way it really does just cloak that entire cheekbone right there. Now moving on to complexion, I'm actually going to do the Scott Barnes method today because I found a bunch of products that I really wanted to test and I think it would just be a good method to go along with them. So first things first, I'm actually going to conceal some of my um, harsher acne spots. I have a couple down here. The rest of my face actually looks pretty good. I don't need too much spot concealing, but down here I need just a little. So for that, I'm going to take the YSL All Hours Concealer. Um, this is in the shade uh, 40R.5. I think it's just 0.5. And this is a concealer that I haven't used in such a long time, but from what I remember, it's actually a pretty good concealer. I'm just going in and lightly buffing that in just to try to reserve the coverage. This is just a no-name Morphe brush, so any little brush will work. And I am going to throw a little bit of this under my nose because I've been having some redness down there lately. I don't know what it's all about, but I am not a fan. So next up, we're going to move on to cream contouring and setting the light and the dark in place for my skin. And I'm going to go in with the shade Abidjan. This is from Juvia's Place. It's their foundation stick. And I did test out their foundation stick a long time ago. And on my skin, unfortunately, the foundation itself doesn't really work. But I have still been trying to get use out of something like this where I know I can just go in and use it as a light way to sculpt out the face. And that way it doesn't go totally to waste. <laughs> a 
literally ma'am such a rhymer. Now because I've worked with this before I know that it will sit down if I don't blend it out quickly so I'm going to go in this is my Scott Barnes brush I just did a video testing Scott Barnes makeup I'll link it up there. In that video I talk about his brush set I picked up the entire thing and it is the Scott Barnes 65 brush for those of you that are wondering and it works really really well for contour. Next up we're going in with NARS this is their radiant creamy concealer and I have this in the shade light one Chantilly. The only thing with this that I've never really been a fan of like right from the beginning is the doe foot applicator. It is so 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 painfully small and it drives me crazy so I I don't reach for this one a ton. The formula isn't bad. It's not my favorite um because it is a little bit on the thicker side. I'm just blending this out with my dose of color sponge and just getting that good and blended out. This isn't necessarily a bad concealer. Um it works okay. It is a little bit thicker than what I would prefer. The coverage on me is like a medium-ish coverage and from there given that uh, that's the concealer I chose I thought it would be kind of cool to go in with also from NARS their natural radiant long wear foundation I have this in the shade Mont Blanc I just wanted to show this to you guys because I thought it was really cool I was on Ulta um, probably a month or so ago and I saw that they started selling this is the full size the one ounce version but they now also sell it in a half ounce version and normally when I see brands do this I always get really disheartened because they charge a lot of money for less product like they make sure that you know you, you don't get your money's worth and when I went through and I can look at how cute this little bottle is oh my god it's adorable uh, but when I went through and I compared the price this little nugget right here is actually $24 which I know is insane for what you're looking at but it's uh, $24 for half a fluid ounce and if you are looking yeah half a fluid ounce and if you're looking at the full size this one is $48 or $49 for a full fluid ounce so NARS actually isn't charging you any more for getting less product which I think is cool because uh, as I said like a lot of brands they would give you this much but charge you $30 or $32 that way you'd be encouraged to buy the full size and I thought it was cool that NARS didn't do that that they were like hey how about instead we actually give you half product we charge you half price and we call it a day so I just wanted to mention that in case you're someone that's wanting to test it they do have it in a little mini size and you're not going to lose um like money testing out a smaller version which is cool now I'm going to go in with my old bottle right here as you can tell I've loved it for a long time but what's funny about this is that I actually ended up buying the little version because I was devastated when I found this bottle right here I thought it was no good because I've had it for a hot minute so then I was like all right well I'm not gonna just throw it away without knowing for sure like I'm gonna test it out so then I wore it and it looked absolutely beautiful I had no adverse effects to it I've worn it three times since then and it looks absolutely stunning every single time so just a second ago when I applied that foundation I did go over like the contour areas just a little bit too much with the foundation itself so I went ahead and I reshaped lightly and look at how everything is just like blended and perfect and the coverage is stunning and I am obsessed. From there I want to go ahead and lock in the under eyes and then we're going to move on to a couple more cream products. So to do that I'm actually going to use my Fenty powder. This is in the shade butter and I am going to just lightly press this into my under eye real quick. Am I the only one that doesn't remember that powder being so heavily fragranced? Like oh wow. Um, let's go ahead though and we're going to move on to a little bit of a light cream blush and I was going through my collection and I've really been rotating a lot of my cream blushes lately so this one I have used lately but not too much I don't think on camera this is the Neutrogena cheeky wink flushed blush and this is in the shade first crush and I'm just lightly pressing it in with my sponge again it's meant to be more of a lighter application because I really want you to be able to see the uh, the other blush that I picked out as well and then in my drawer I also found a liquid highlight I haven't used in forever and it's from Maybelline this is their master strobing liquid in the shade 100 light iridescent and I thought this could be kind of cool to go in with just a little bit of it on the cheekbones. That is a swatch of it. Ooh, girl, she's pretty. And I'm going to lightly just kind of pat, 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 go in with my sponge and try to move it around. Oh, God. It like immediately settled into my foundation. Why did it do that? All right, so on this side, it's looking a lot better and I think it has something to do with putting it on the sponge first and then blending from there. So I definitely don't recommend applying with your fingers and then trying to blend out. This seems like the type of product that you are only going to have a moment to blend it in. Now from there, I'm gonna move on and set the rest of my face. I'm setting my under eyes with the Fenty powder because I want to see if I can brighten that up just a little bit. 
And then I'm also going to use it for the same reason on my forehead right here just to try to keep it bright. To set the rest of the face, I'm going to use a powder that I have been using a little bit recently, but before that I hadn't used it at all, so I was kind of testing it out. This is the uh, Too Faced Born This Way powder in Cloud. It's a really, it's, I think it's actually the lightest shade, and this is the Scott Barnes 67 brush, and I just like to take a little bit of this and kind of lightly tap it all over the cheek because I am going to have more powders going in and I don't want to over cake my face with powder. Also just losing the excess powder under my eyes. All right, so now moving into powder bronzer. Nobody judge me This was one of my absolute favorites and I have no idea what it's gonna look like now It's from it cosmetics and this is their ombre radiance bronzer in warm radiance and I use I mean you can tell I use this so 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 much It's just I don't know what it was I thought it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen and now looking at it. I'm like <laughs> Page is that your color? I'm not sure uh, but we're gonna find out so I'm gonna take the same brush This is still the Scott Barnes 67 and I'm just lightly kind of tapping it in tapping off and then lightly kind of popping that over top of where I had the cream bronzer. Ooh, that's pretty. And then for blush, it's a complete coincidence, but I have another IT Cosmetics favorite. This is their Bye Bye Pores Blush in the shade Naturally Pretty. And if you've been around for a minute, I'm just gonna use the same brush. If you've been around on my channel for a hot second, you will remember this used to be my favorite freaking blush. I used it every single day. I love the tone, the color, the way that it like worked into my skin. Everything about this, I just thought, was so beautiful because it really is the most just like light, natural, kind of mauve -y pink. Oh my God, it's just so pretty. I forgot how much I love this blush. Like it's so freaking pretty. I, I love it. I love the color. I'm gonna have to keep this out because this color is everything. Now, as I mentioned before, I've been trying to use up products and go through and make sure that if I've already opened it, I'm actually finishing it all the way through. And so when it came to brows, I pulled out two products that were in there. The Gimme Brow I have used more recently, but it's the only other open brow setter that I have that I haven't used in a while. So I grabbed this. This is in the shade 4.5. And then for the pencil, I have the NYX Fill and Fluff in Brunette. This is a pencil that a lot of people compared, I think even I compared it, to the um, Fenty one that they came out with that had the brush instead of the spoolie on the end. Uh, this isn't my favorite. I really like to have a spoolie, but the pencil itself isn't horrible. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. It's the year 2026. I'm waiting for my 40th birthday to trickle around, and oh my god, that took so long. I don't think that brows should take that long. I remember when I used it before not loving the consistency, but like, I don't remember it being this like, uh, I had to conceal on the top, bottom, inside. Like, I had to conceal everywhere because I don't have a ton of brow hair so this like the pencil and the shape of it mixed with the waxy consistency it just kind of goes wherever like it, it just goes where it wants to and then I have to go in and try to shape out the color and so it's just it's not my favorite but we're gonna move on I'm just moving in and adding a little shape tape to my lids just to get them primed now moving into the eyeshadow portion I grabbed a palette that I used to be absolutely die hard obsessed with and that is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette I used and if you remember comment down below I I use this so, so much. It was one of my favorite palettes back in the day to do an all matte eye look, and I never used to do those at all. Like, I would never do an all matte eye, and when I started, it was because of this palette. So I'm starting off first here just by color switching and cleaning off a Morphe E23 brush, and I am going to start with that shade Peach Punch right here, and I'm gonna layer that on the outskirts of my eyes. Oh God, this color. I just, I used to wear this all by itself. I would layer it through the crease. I would put it all over the lid. I would do everything with this color because it's just such a beautiful peachy pink shade. I think at this point, guys, I am gonna commit to trying an all matte eye look. Who am I? I don't know. Um, but because of that, I'm gonna leave um, a lot of color open in this area until I decide what I want to do with that area. And then I think from there, I want to develop the outer crease a little bit. And I'm gonna grab the shade Just Ripe, which is like a deep purple shade. And I'm going to lightly kind of dust that onto the outer V, make sure to tuck it in this pocket just to help open up my eye a little bit and then blend it out. Oh God, it blends out so easily. And this palette is like so old and it still works so well. Why can't Too Faced produce this quality in every palette? Like even the palette that came after this, they had one that looked identical. It was like purple and it was the white peach palette. Or so, I don't know. It was ridiculous and it was not good at all. Like I hated that palette so much. So I think I want to take, this is peach meringue. This shade is really bright, so is Peach Butter. Which one's brighter? I think, yeah, definitely Peach Meringue is brighter. And I'm gonna take this on my finger just as like a preliminary press. 
I'm gonna pop it right in that area just to see if I can get enough pigment out of it. Oh yeah, I definitely like that, okay. And then on a BH17 brush, it's just a teeny tiny little detail type brush, I'm taking the same peach meringue shade and I'm just gonna run that up along the brow bone. And then on my Scott Barn 62, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the shade Just Ripe and I'm gonna mix it a freckle with the shade Peach Sangria, which is right here. And I'm gonna throw that on the outer V just because I want a little bit more depth, just a teeny tiny little bit. And because I have it on this brush, I'm just gonna lightly pull the tip of it through right where I want that darkness. Ooh, there we go. And then it just gives me a little bit more shape too. All right, so there is the eye look. Aside from me doing a little bit of highlight on the inner eye and the brow bone, that's the eye look. And I keep looking in the monitor hoping that it, uh, it'll it translate and I don't know if it is. So hopefully if it's not translating now, it will when I do the you know final look, up close, all that. Uh, because we're gonna go ahead and you know finalize the face. So next up we have to spray it in preparation for highlight. And for that, I did find a spray that I haven't used in a while and it is the Kylie Kylie setting spray from Kylie Cosmetics. So we're gonna take a little bit of this. Wow. Woo, I forgot about the scent and I forgot about the mist. Holy, and by mist I mean hose, girl, it's a hose. But now that we're done with that, we can move into highlight. And here's the situation, all right? I love highlight. This is no surprise. You guys know I have a bajillion highlights. And this one I have kept in my collection for so long because it's, I think that if memory serves, I loved this before I even started my channel or it was like right on the cusp of it. This is their Pro Glow To Go little palette from Tarte. And I loved this. It had a little mirror in here and I just thought that was the coolest thing. And then these are the three shades and my favorite shade was Gleam, which is right up top here. And I used to even use the shade Chisel. I have to swatch these on my arm because that right there is the bronzer. And I use this entire palette all the time. <sighs> And those are the shades. The one in the middle is the one I'm gonna highlight my face with. And I know it doesn't look like much right here, but I'm hoping that once I get it on and apply that I can just, you know, lightly kind of glilt the cheek. So I'm gonna grab my Scott Barn 66 and I'm just gonna take and apply to my face. Ooh, it looks so good. <gasps> oh, look at you be such a cute little highlight. Oh my gosh. That is, I just, I don't know what it is. I'm looking at this and I'm like, aw, it's making me aw. I don't know why. I am also going to use that shade on the inner eye and the brow bone. But because I went with an all matte eye look, I'm going to actually apply this with a fluffy brush just so I can get the shine on the inner eye, but it doesn't look as intense. And then for mascara, I actually pulled this one from my collection. This this is the Double Decker Mascara from Butter London. And I had a few of these because I actually purchased them when they went on sale at Ulta. And I used to really, really love this mascara. So I'm gonna use this. And the last step, of course, is lips. And for that, I actually went into my drawer and I pulled out this little guy from Marc Jacobs. This is the shade Magenta and it's one of their lip creams. And I just love how pretty and deep the color is. Like, oh God, it's so good. And then over top of that, I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of the Lunar Beauty Gloss from Manny's collection in the shade Enchantment. Just a little bit. I don't want too much because this gloss does have an, uh, like a blue purple shift, like an iridescence quality to it. But I just want like a little bit of something. All right, you guys, this is the finished face. What do you think? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Did you like the products, the video still? Do you like how the look came out? All of that good stuff. Uh, because I have to say, I'm actually really, really impressed. All of these products look so good together on my skin. All the colors are perfect. And I love the way that the monochromatic moment just came together. Whether it was the blush, the eyes, the lips, like it's just, I don't know. I feel like it all mapped together. So let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Don't forget, you can check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. They are both linked in the description box. But most importantly, if you like having someone to hang out with three days a week, bright and early, um, subscribe, turn on your post notifications because my videos do go up at about 7 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's just a good time to hang out. You have someone to uh, chit chat with while you're doing your makeup, getting ready for work, drinking your coffee, getting the kids ready for school, whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, three days a week, you can have someone to hang out with. So subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Oh my god! Oh, that was almost bad. Also a blast from the past. Just kind of like my outfit, like what even is this? I don't even, even my dad was... God? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do, 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 do.
And then from there, now that we're good, we're concealed, you can, okay. All right, all right. No, 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 don't do that, don't, don't. Please don't, no. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. 